welcome to vlogmas day seven so first things first i wanted to show you guys one of my favorite fall drinks that you can use and make year round so yeah here's my favorite 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 fall drink that i love to make Give me fall. This this counts. Hey y'all, welcome to Vlogmas Day Seven. So now um is the time where the twenty one and older's part starts. So mom, if you're watching this, this will be the time to go ahead and turn the volume down, but keep the video playing so I can watch time. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we ready? All right, let's get into it. Men are natural pleasers. So if you never run into one, it's you. I, I've never run into a guy in the whole time that I've been sexually active. I've never run into a guy that wasn't a pleaser. Not never. And I'm not talking about pleasers that are just like, oh yeah, you know, that was the night I had that henny in my system. But literally a, did you come in a pleaser? And I'm talking every single time. It wasn't a one time let me hook a rant type thing it was a every single time over the years it was a consistency for me it was a consistency for me so i don't i don't understand it's a whole lot of women that's running into men that's not pleasers and i really think it's y'all i really think it's y'all it's the man that y'all running into because i ain't never i've never uh, women who use now this is on a, on a side note Shout out to the peppy. I had a friend, he, um, back in the day, he, we talked about this before and he was saying how women, um, a lot of women are like celibate and abstinent and then they'll go out and get these big ass dildos and they'll like use dildos on themselves and stuff like that. And then you get with a man and you're like, oh my God, you're tiny. And he said this and I believe this is so I'll put it in here. This was years ago. A uh, women who use huge dildos regularly, they have, he called them canals. He said, you, you ain't got no walls, you, you got a canal. It's more than a hot dog down the hallway. Um, that's why they think most men are small. Because you've used this unnecessarily large dildo. And no man can mount up to that. The, the average size of a man is six inches. It's the average size. That means that's what most men are. That leads me to my next thing. Six inches is not small. Why, why do you need 10? Survey says you have a canal. I just feel like what 10 inches is a lot. 10 inches is a lot. I feel like with six inches, you can do everything that you need to do. You can ride. If you want to put your lids all the way back, you put your lids all the way back. You can do different positions and be comfortable with it. They can put you in a presser and you'll be cool. 10 inches is a lay there, in my opinion. 10 inches is a lay there and take it kind of size. And I just feel like you can't have fun. You can't have fun with 10 inches. I know I can't. Six, six inches is... That's good. And I've had larger. And I'm like, this will not be on a regular basis. 
but maybe that's just maybe that's just me. The next one, um, this is for the man. You cannot have a woman who both has a low body count and experience. It doesn't work like that. You literally have to pick a struggle. You're either going to get a woman who's inexperienced with a low body count or get a woman who's experienced with a higher body count. There is no such thing as a, a, a woman with one, two, three body count that knows what they're doing in bed. You, you, it just it doesn't. You don't know. You don't know. Even if they're taught by a man that has a high body count, you just know. You cannot have, you got to pick. You got to pick, you got to pick, you got to pick. What do I have next? Um, men who only want to hit it from the back. They really think that you're ugly. And they think about somebody else so that they can come. I may have unlocked a new fear for some people. Hopefully not. I heard that on TikTok from a bunch of men who actually backed it up when the first guy said it. So I personally feel like if a bunch of men are saying it, then that is their truth. Even if it seems mean, even if it seems bad, that's their truth. And you can't argue with the man's truth because the man's truth is just that. That's what they said. So that's what I'm saying. That's why it's on the list. Uh, a lot of men come fast um, because you're boring in bed. They just don't want to tell you and hurt your feelings. I believe that's true. I made that up and I, I just, because I believe that's true. I really do. I feel like men can rush through the sex just like women can fake orgasms. I think it's a, it's a two-way street when it comes to that. It's a lot of women who just lay there allegedly. Um, I talk to men and I've done surveys with men about the things that women do and a lot of women just lay there. Like when I say lay there, I mean corpse. Visitation is at 11, service is at noon corpse like lay there what's the next one why you, why you this is another one that I just got a question for why you in your 20 second ashwagandha for lubrication why you dry already you in your 20s you in your 20s why you taking ashwagandha I don't get that. Do people like, are there people that have like lubrication issues that young in life? Because I'm thinking that in your 20s, your libido is sky high. And I would think the last thing that you would need is some ashwagandha, but. Right on the street, it's people taking ashwagandha, y'all. In their 20s. Even in your 30s. Um, I question it. I, I'm. I question it. Maybe you want a little bit more lubrication. Maybe it's a once you have sex. Because I know, like, if you have sex for too long, you get dry. So maybe it's a, if you go too long. So you take the ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is like a, ashwagandha is like a backup. I don't know. But I just feel like if that person truly turns you on and you're aroused, that faucet don't stay burning. Oh, that's, that's how I feel about it. Um, the next one is men buttholes are looser than women. And I feel like that's why they have poop streaks. Now, let me elaborate on that. So, um, I be watching videos on TikTok, because I love TikTok. And it be men, it was this one man one time he did a video and he was like, if you are going to, um, he was a gay man. He said, if you are going to be with a, he called it something else, but it was the, the bottom. If you're going to be with a bottom, um, if you're if you're if you made a date to be with a bottom and you're gonna not if you're gonna stand that bottom up at least just have the courtesy to let them know and not actually stand them up because they have to go through a lot of preparation to be prepared for you like they gotta clean themselves out like i don't know if they like laxatives and stuff like that and like like different things to kind of just like clean them out they was he was talking about some like not him but i heard other people talk about like douching and stuff like that like to kind of just like clean out the butthole and I've never maybe we just don't talk about I've never heard a woman uh say that I've never I've never heard a woman say I don't um I don't participate in that um I just I don't participate it the thought of it is very scary for me um luckily I've never run into uh, people that's really um been on it but um, I've never heard a woman be
be like, you know, I, I have to prep myself. I have to clean. And maybe they do and we just don't talk about it. I don't know. But for me, it's like a thing thing to like clean your body out. And I'm like, maybe um, the buttholes are looser than or more elastic than women's are and that's the reason why sometimes men be having poop streaks because i don't get the poop streak thing and it is too many men that have poop streaks for it to just be a thing where like oh so many men are nasty i refuse to believe that i refuse to believe that i think that their buttholes are looser than women's and so when they do have to poop or something like that and they just don't poop when they need to poop um the a little bit of poop comes out and then they have a poop streak that's what i think Uh, women it's for the ladies if you got to take antibiotics for it to go away this is definitely not something that women just get sometimes uh i'm talking about bv i'm talking about bv now naturally women will have off days now if that's bv then okay but when i googled it they said you can take antibiotics for bb and if you your body is never going to bring you something where you have to go your body is not going to produce something naturally where you have to go to a doctor and get a prescription for it you can get you can get a vagicil yeast infection medication uh over the counter you can go to walgreens and get that you don't need a prescription you don't need to make an appointment to see a doctor to go and do that if you have to go and make an appointment to see a doctor for antibiotics that's not something that just happens that's just not that's not something that your body just produced and on a side note stop shaming women who say they never had bv because i think an off day is not bv i think an off day is an off day especially when it's around your cycle especially when you're coming on your cycle and you're going off your cycle but it shouldn't be no week-long thing it shouldn't like you you might have like an off day or two Give yourself two. I, I say two. Give, give, give you two. But it goes away on its own. Now, I also read that BV sometimes will go away on its own. But if you just let it, if you wait until it go away on its own, it makes you more susceptible to STDs. Like, what the fuck? Your body, your body would never betray you like that. Your, your body would naturally never betray you like that. I really feel like women are a lot of women i end now with these nasty dudes they be sleeping with and they just don't want to admit that they man be cheated but men be cheated and it happens and as much as you would like for them to respect themselves and you enough to use a condom when they cheat they don't do that a lot of them don't do that so stop demonizing women who say they ain't never had bv I, I, and stop acting like it's something that your body naturally does that is not natural that is not natural your your body is not going to betray you like that when you have to go to the doctor and get antibiotics not never not for your vagina it, it's never i don't i don't care i don't care i don't care i'm standing on it because that's how i feel what's the next one uh this for the men men who don't clean between your uh they ass cheeks in the shower because they think it's gay are closeted DL men. You can't you can't convince me no different. You just can't. Because I feel like the reason why you're not cleaning your butt while you're in the shower is because you think that when you swipe past that butthole, it's gonna be a feeling that you never felt before and that you are actually gonna like it and you're gonna wanna delve deeper, have somebody else delve deeper into what what is in the in the beyond and unknown. Because there's no reason for it. It's no reason for you to be like cleaning your butt is gay that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard it's it's you 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 think it's gonna feel good and so you don't even want to go there because you just don't want to be you just don't want to go to that side and i feel like if you feel like it's a possibility that you might go to the side you dl you dl because you 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 know you know just go ahead and try it out go ahead and be by let just let people know let people know. Don't be don't be weird about it. Just let people know so they can make the decision whether or not they want to talk to you still. Just do that. Don't be tricking people. That's weird. Uh, what we got next? Uh, women. I feel like it's a lot of women who expect vaginal sex to induce a clitoral uh, orgasm. And that's why you don't enjoy sex. A clitoral orgasm is vastly different from a vaginal orgasm now. Allegedly. A lot of women don't be having orgasms. 
Luckily, I am not in that number. Um, and you can't tell me that I'll be having no orgasm. Cause what the, what that feeling be? What that be? Why my legs be shaking? What what what, what be happening? Cause it's, it's not, I know what a clitoral a clitoral uh, orgasm sound feel like, and that ain't it. Baby, this fall drink is is getting to me, and I still gotta edit this shit. So I feel like because women are it, they're they're expecting a clitoral orgasm and they don't get that they don't enjoy sex which is probably another reason why they just lay there because they're like i'm not doing this for me i'm doing this for you and that's sad that's sad hey y'all my battery died and i had to delete some videos but what i did when i was getting another battery was i got some measuring tape for reference this is six inches It do it's it's <laughs> God I hope my mama cut this out. It's gonna do what it needs to do. You could do it, you could do a lot with this. You could do a lot with this. To me, this is good. This what y'all want. This y'all want. Y'all want this? This a forearm. This my forearm. This what y'all want? And unbelievable. Unbelievable. Even nine. Even nine. This this four arm. Y'all want a four arm? What's going on with y'all? What's going on with y'all? I don't know. Let me see. So the next one that I have, so we're, we're gonna get right back to the uh, unpopular popular opinions. These men and I I think they true. Um, some men are promiscuous because their bodies know their erections have an expiration date. And I can stand on that. I do feel like the reason why men, a lot of men are like innately promiscuous is because their bodies know that they have an expiration date. It's kind of like how when women's, uh, when women ovulate, they naturally become aroused. They naturally become horny and they want to like give it a guy to, to sleep with a guy. It's not because you're just horny. It's because your body is like the eggs are here. It's it's time to you're you're ovulating. The the eggs are ready. They're ready. So it's time for you to get with somebody so that you we can go ahead and fertilize this egg and make a baby. I feel like it's the same thing with men. I feel like they know that they their their bodies know that eventually they're not gonna get an erection no more. I personally could not imagine being horny and knowing that there was nothing I could do about it. To me, that is like That's like hell on earth. That's like horrible. To just to feel the way, because everybody know what it feels like when you're horny. And when you can't scratch that itch, that's like crazy. Crazy. Even if even if you don't have nobody, you can normally like, you know, pop one off yourself. But to not even be able to do that. So I really do feel like a lot of men are promiscuous because naturally their bodies know like you you have an expiration date. Now, some people's expiration dates are sooner than others. And I feel like you really don't know when it's going to happen, but you just know that it will happen. And so I feel like men's men body be like they hormones like, come on, let's get it in because soon we ain't gonna have a choice. We ain't gonna have a choice but to sit down. And I feel like that's also why a lot of men uh, end up settling down and they want to do all of the things that women wanted them to do in their twenties and thirties when they in their fifties and sixties because now their stuff don't work no more. But when you that old. Uh, and you trying to get you somebody the women are like we've been here this whole time and you don't want to talk to us so now we we 50 and 62 with you but i don't touch you now i don't care if we are the same age because when you women some women have sex drives for a very long time for a very long time in the box the box stay boxing the box stay boxing and men know that and so to get older and your stuff don't work no more and all you can really do is reminisce on what you used to do i like would be like just go ahead and get your rocks off baby because you got an expiration date um the next one is men who come quick every time either have a disorder don't get boxed regularly or be faking it and i do feel i refuse to believe that a grown man every single time he has sex with somebody every five minutes i just refuse to believe it it's something wrong with you because you have not built up your stamina you have not built up your endurance in all this time and you in like your 30s your 40s and you have not built up enough endurance to to last more than five minutes you must not get it on regular 
you can't possibly get it on a regular because you you have some type of and do not get if it's the first time and you bust quick the first time because it's this new box i get that but if you're known for being a five minute man what's happening what's going on is a premature ejaculation is it a is it a problem are you just like not used to being with women or are you faking it are you like fake it coming so that you can be done with them like you don't really want to do it with them and so you faking it some men do that some men do that some men do that i don't know i don't know and lastly my last unpopular opinion that i feel like should be a popular opinion all of these should be popular opinions because they all make sense to me and so therefore they should make sense to y'all as well i'm just saying um everyone is everybody starts out as a female so men literally have elongated clits you can't fight the truth baby 